Hi, bumblebee friends and dinosaur friends. This week, as you can guess it, we're going to learn about dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are some big, huge, amazing creatures, and we're going to have a lot of fun learning about them this week. First off, we're going to start, though, by learning our numbers, the number four and the number three. Can you help me count three fingers? Most of you are three right now, or they just had a birthday. Like Tyler just had a birthday. All right, let's count our number three. Can you hold up three fingers? Let's count them. One, two, three. Do it again. One, two, three. Good job. Now let's hold up four fingers. Can you hold up four fingers? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Great job. Okay, now we're going to do number three. Let's clap three times. Ready? One, two, three. Now let's count four times. Ready? One, two, three, four. How about let's stump our, three, our feet three times. Ready? One, two, three. Three. Great job. Now let's stomp our feet four times. Ready? One, two, three, four. Great job. Can you stand up and jump and I will help you count to three? Are you ready? You jump and I'll count. Ready? One, two, three. Great job. Now let's count four times while you jump. Ready? Set. Go. One, two, three, four. Great job. This is the number three. Can you say three? Three. And this is the number four. Can you guys say four? Four. Great job. Next, we're going to sing our songs about the diamond and the heart. Do you guys remember how to sing our songs? Let's start with the diamond, ready? A diamond's like a kite, a diamond's like a kite. It has four sides that are the same, a diamond's like a kite. Now you sing it with me, ready? Let's go. A diamond's like a kite, a diamond's like a kite. It has four sides that are the same, a diamond's like a kite. All right. Now let's sing our heart song. This is a pink heart, and a heart is a symbol of love. Are you going to help me sing? All right, I'll do it first, and then you guys can join. I know me and the second song, okay? Here we go. Skin the marinky dinky dink, skin the marinky do. I love you. I love you in the morning, and I love you in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. I love you. All right, this is the heart. Ready? Here is. Let's sing. You this time. You sing with me. Skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. I love you. I love you in the morning and I love you in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. I love you. Great job, you guys. Practice singing those songs this week so you can remember what a kite is or a diamond and what a heart is. Okay, now we're going to read a fun story all about the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs lived a long, long time ago, and there were so many different kinds of dinosaurs. Look at all those dinosaurs. You have big ones and little ones and shark teeth ones and ones that ate trees. Then... You have all different shapes and sizes. There is tiny, tiny ones, and there is really gigantic big ones. Dinosaurs came from all over the place. There were some that lived in the ocean, like jellyfish and sea urchins. 
and crocodiles, and some that lived on land and ate the food on land. Inside a dinosaur, they have many bony bones. Look at this one has bones like a brontosaurus. Brontosaurus is a really big dinosaur. And look at how many bones they have. They have bones in their neck and bones in their ribs or stomach and then all the way down to their tail, even in their feet and their toes, just like us. Some, a lot of dinosaurs hatched from eggs. Look at those eggs. They grow inside an egg and when they get big enough, they hatch out and they see their moms and dads, just like a bird would. Dinosaurs used to get mad at each other and they used to fight and battle. Sometimes it was over food and sometimes it was about protecting their babies. Some birds flew and the birds that were dinosaurs. They're not like the birds we have today. But some of them were big and some of them were small and their wings were humongous. Some dinosaurs lived under the sea, like our squids today or our octopus. Even our sharks are dinosaurs and our alligators are dinosaurs. And those dinosaurs still live today. Most of them are indistinct. Some dinosaurs loved each other like our mommies and daddies love each other. And you love your mommies and daddies. The king of all dinosaurs was the Trantosaurus Rex, or the dinosaur you know as T-Rex. He was the biggest meat-eating dinosaur and he was very mean. There was also smaller meat-eating dinosaurs that were just as mean as the T-Rex, but they were smaller, much smaller. What happened to the dinosaurs? Well, scientists are still trying to figure that out. Some of them think they got washed out by water. Some of them think that they got swallowed up by the volcanoes. Some of them think that they got buried in mud. They're all learning different ways that dinosaurs died. But today, scientists are working really, really hard to figure out those answers. Where did the dinosaurs come from? How big and how small the dinosaurs were? How many different kinds of dinosaurs there were? and where they lived and what they ate. They're finding dinosaur bones trapped inside layers and layers of dirt underneath the earth by digging and digging and digging holes to find the dinosaurs. And once they uncover them, they put them in new museums, just like the dinosaur was made. You can go to museums and see all kinds of different dinosaurs today. Ask mom and dad if you can go to the history museum and see all the different dinosaurs and their bones and how big the dinosaurs used to be. You can learn all kinds of things about dinosaurs from the history museum, from the library and checking out books, or by going on the computer and searching dinosaur history. There's a lot of things that you can do to learn about dinosaurs, even digging in your backyard. Or if you have toy dinosaurs, go get those toy dinosaurs and bury them in some dirt, in a pot, or in your garden, wherever mom and dad will let you dig. And pretend like you're a scientist digging up the bones, 
or digging up an old dinosaur out of the ground. It would be a lot of fun. So I want you guys to go have fun practicing being dinosaurs and do the dinosaur stomp song. I gave mom and dad the link in your lessons this week. So I hope you have fun and we'll see you later. Bye dinosaurs.